Wow, hello there. If you're new to my channel, I'm Christine and I'd like to take the opportunity to thank everyone who has been following me for this time and I'd also like to thank the new subscribers that have come through. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. The details are in my bio and uh, thank you everybody because <laughs> your energy is so important. I'm going to have some notes with this video today. I'm going to talk a little bit about um, the transits that are happening in the sky and then I'm going to pull some cards based on the Venus and the love energy that's around at the moment. Uh, so I'll just move my notes over from here because uh, this is the most thing today. It's the 22nd today here in Australia and we have the Sun in close encounter with Venus uh, or Venus is in close encounter with the Sun. Um, it's so closely conjunct when I looked at my um, charts this morning it is um, zero degrees and that is like at the, the Venus is at the heart of the Sun and you have the Sun energy. This is what's known as a Kazemi and a planet Kazemi uh, um, traditionally is any planet can Kazem with the Sun or well, maybe not the other ones but um, it's it's all about its energy getting amplified so Venus's energy is amplified and stronger like dignified and I have dignity and this was something that the 17th century astrologer William Lilly described at being at one with oneself and and the nation at the time in his time that was the world so and um or his world and just sort of being i would put it as being at one with the universe in this time um so venus kazemi indicates his amplification of venus the planet of love all things beautiful venus can also reflect a time of renewed emotional energy and a new relationships coming into your life or a new phase in existing relationships but this will also depend where Venus is in your natal or birth chart this vibration is um, extremely promising um, and this is a sort of point that's happening which I'll move into in a moment um, where um, before Venus and the Sun will move into Scorpio in a couple of days time so this vibration is very very good for meeting new people socializing having fun and it can also be good for finances and any negotiations you're doing and if you're here in Australia and it's a Saturday a lot of people are out wheeling and dealing at garage sales or um, various things so hopefully they will get a bargain um, I thought I would look at each side and draw a card and I'm going to be using um, just see if you can see that I'll hold it like that I've got the camera around wrong today here we go Sufi Tarot and we're going to see what we have with these cards each energy just give them a little quick shuffle we're also going to talk about the Venus star point today very briefly uh, because it's it's quite a comp com complex subject um, if you don't know a lot of astrology but if you have a grounding in the basic astrology you would enjoy moving into this work so I'm just going to give them a cut and we'll take it from the top. Looking at the cards, you can see that. I'm just going to check you can see it because I've got a bit. Yeah, that's perfect. Libra, the emphasis today is on your appearance, changing your style, being social and enjoy that people pleasing that they like to do or getting the more getting the enjoyment of being out with people, helping people, um, that entertaining sort of energy is there for you. And you have two, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, high priestess. 
So you could find yourself also enjoying going within and being there with the Kazemi feeling regal and at one and uh, and trusting your intuition when you're out today because this is you're going to know within what's working for you you're going to know that you are at one with yourself and your inner wisdom and also at one with the universe so scorpio you can struggle with your feelings and how to sort of show your talents and you might be a little bit secretive today and you have the magician and he is about wanting to sort of go within and stay at home <laughs> high priestess going within but with the magician you know and trust that you have everything you need to do and you don't have to prove anything to anybody because you, you can be looking at this card you can be at home with the things that you love you can trust in yourself and just have some downtime with this or maybe um, you could if you're struggling with your feelings and that under this vibration just um, do things that you like to do um, Scorpio because that's important for you Sagittarius for you it's all about friends and lovers and a very social time with artistic people and you have the eight of cups and you could be linking up and connecting with people who have been away or going away or been away thinking of moving away or maybe yourself are thinking maybe you would move somewhere else in this time and this will be conversations you'll be having with a, in a conversation where you're sort of thinking and talking about a situation that's changing and how that is working for you but also it's about friends and lovers and enjoying yourself as well under this vibration opportunities will come to make change if you want them Sagittarius you also have Capricorn who's going to find themselves with the six of cups being devoted and helping and caring someone who they are very close to especially you may find yourself looking after someone not only emotionally and spiritually but also about materially you'll be helping someone out be it your partner or someone very close or even under the vibration with things that have been happening in the world you might be just helping someone in your neighborhood because it's all about the caring and the sharing for you Aquarius you have the five of stuffs and you could be feeling conflicted because for you conflicted about it's all about being a free spirit and getting the most out of life be it travel or study but there's a little bit of inner competition happening here with you and it's not maybe as easy as you would thought and so part of you is wanting to be free and get away and do travel and this inner conflict is also thinking well I should be um, well we shouldn't live with shoulds but also that's that's what causes the conflict is well there's um, the conflict of well I could I'm missing out on what's happening at home and all because you're possibly away and also it could also be I'm getting coming through with this that just being over the hustle and bustle the price of being the eternal traveler for Pisces we have the page of wands what a beautiful card they call it the daughter of stars but stars are wands and you can see the stars here and Pisces you're wanting to delve into anything that's deep and mysterious under this vibration and connecting at a deeper soul level you will be interested in soulful things be it um, religious theology philosophy astrology tarot and healing elements as well Pisces so um, don't be afraid to be creative with these energies for you Aries it's all about Venus is in your seventh house and we have the five of cups and you there could be it's about partners former partners and reflecting on what makes a good partner and part of that is looking at what has worked what doesn't work and what makes a good partner Aries 
and how things have gone in the past. So there's a little bit of sort of reflection with, with all that. And there's things that are really good. And what you have to do is focus on what's working and what has worked in the past and be able to move on from the things that may not have that may not have worked out as well as you would liked it um, with that Taurus for you this vibration and you have the seven of cups <laughs> is about looking after others and doing what you do on a daily basis making your space look beautiful but there's so much to do and where do you start with the seven of cups and you could find yourself in a dilemma of thinking do I do this do I make outside nice do I go out and make someone nice or do I work on what I'm working on and create that or and make a space that's beautiful where do I start don't get lost in the mind um, drama with this Taurus just go in within and trust that you are the orchestrator and you are the one that can just say pick one thing and do it Gemini you're wanting to create a good impression under this vibration by doing something nice or wanting to impress someone in your life and you have the three of coins with this so you can see yourself um, showing off something that you have new something that you're wanting to do new something your best side you're going to be showing on and it's you're going to be very successful with this energy gemini with the three of cups because you're going to find this good impression is going to last for you and cancer you are under this vibration as usual devoted to your family you're wanting to create a good home space and talking um about things being harmonious and gathering family around you but you also to be able to do this you need to be able with the four of coins let go and stop holding on onto things that um, don't need holding on to anymore because that is what will drag you down you'll be sort of thinking well I want to do you've been in this conflict of I want to do this and I want to make it all nice but um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to use with the coins the nest egg I've because I'm wanting to keep that money for something else or you just think well we only live <laughs> this is how you have to release a little bit stop holding on and gather family around you and don't be frightened to have a little splurge because it's going to be good for you so Virgo the focus is on appreciating life all the things that make you happy and you're going to feel rushed around doing it with the Sun of Swords which is like the Knight of Swords you're going to be wanting um, to do things quickly and what you need to do is instead of tearing along mad um, remember it's often the small and simple things that you do daily that matter to you and that you can rush into what's important and get a move on but also it's about what makes you happy as well with the this energy is promising as I said I just wanted to see what was on the bottom of the deck and this is a this is amazing <laughs> over everything the umbrella over all the other cards is the beautiful three of cups under the moon which is the Virgo moon um, where I am uh, enjoyment with friends socialness this is very much a beautiful Venus card having all the beautiful things that Venus loves nice fabrics and cloth and surroundings and lovely things your um, your style and doing what you love um, looking at this wonderful star energy for us as an overall umbrella to this um, quick read for all the star signs so as I said the energy is very promising and we have um, Saturn stations direct um, and it's like um, he's moving he's been backwards going direct now and he's gathering his energy he's waking up and we also have eclipse energy building which I'll talk about on another video later and we also have an alignment 
um, that's taking place today on the 22nd known as the Venus star point uh, this is um, not our first alignment for the year this is the second alignment the first alignment we experienced back in January 2022 but what we also have in significance is um, today is the Venus star point um, and it's going to take place in Libra um, which is its ruling sign, 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 sign. So it's uh, an energy that once is increased, I think, and po more is potent. And it, Libra, it hasn't been in this star sign. This is why I needed the notes since the 1770s, which is really interesting. So I think Australia was um, in, discovered in 1770. I'll have to check that out for sure. Um, and so it's going to be making. For the first time that since that time since the 1770s that we are going to be experiencing this energy so to find out i just sort of will show you something but i might have to just change cameras here we go if you want to know more about the venus rising star it is the work of ariel gutman i hope i'm saying it right um and it's a a, a wonderful book but it's not for a real beginner but I wanted to use um, the idea and I hope you can see it well that a lot of people Venus will is here on the 22nd and she will start her journey painting a star and then to next will be Gemini which I must admit I haven't looked up the date then up to Capricorn then to Leo, then to Pisces, and back to Libra. And that is the energy of the star point. There is loads you can find out about it. Um, and I'll, but Ariel's, to me, I've got lovely heart crystal, very Venus. I've got the sun in citrine pieces and the moon in an earth sign. But I can't help wanting to have these lovely ones here <laughs> the, the quartzy ones i like having them in them because i i find this is very venusy energy myself um i don't know what's venus energy for you what does it make you think about but anyway i'm going to leave this video with a quote i do not want the peace which passes understanding i want the understanding which bringeth peace this is by helen keller who was a Libra morning star. If you go to, uh, I'll put it in the notes, but if you go to Ariel's website, you can look up a table and look up what morning star you were born under. Um, that And that can be like a starting point for you on a journey that will possibly bring you much love and enjoyment. So thank you for watching and you Energy is so important and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.